like we were saying, Aerolink versus Karna on the other side of that winner's semifinals. Uh, again, I want to stress, this has been a problem matchup for Aerolink, but he has said he's been working on it extensively. He has been grinding this matchup, and he's told me he's got a few more tricks at the ledge that might be able to make this a little bit more even. All right, um, I'm excited to see how he utilizes those in this match. Karna's known for his patented ledge pressure, so I want to see how he's able to escape it. Right now, he's starting all the pressure, though, with these sick combos. Yeah, already a quick 55%. Karna answering back, carrying him all the way across the stage. Unfortunately, though, ends up throwing himself off the stage as well, has to recover, and therefore gives up stage control. But Aerolink decided to hand it right back to him. Say, hey, did you want the stage? <laughs> Here, I'm just going to... Oh, my gosh. What a... he, he was able to call uh, Aerolink waiting there a bit too long, get that down tilt, and then rack it up to some good percent. Still keeping the stage control. Right, that's Karna's game plan. Um, oh, oh my, my gosh, like he, you talked about. You talked about that. He would jump and he catches it with that up smash. Wow. That was a raw call out in neutral. He was like, hey, I think Aerolink really likes to jump here. How about I just put my beautiful diamond cutter hands? <laughs> oh my goodness. That that was Gibbous-esque. <laughs> right? What, what, what is what is Sheik's up smash? Is she like holding two kanai in her hands, or like no, what she's is she? just like hitting you with her finely fined fingertips? <laughs> okay. She's she's got she just got a beautiful manicure, <laughs> and she is ready to cut somebody. Wow, the collision on that uh, forward smash, the hair was able to push Karna back a little bit, or the guns, I mean, right, right, pushing her back. Holding on the ledge a little bit too long, Karna is more than happy to just down tilt you and get a conversion off of it. Ooh, Witch Time coming into play, allowing Aerolink to live a bit longer. 89% already on the second stock, while Karna sits comfortably on his first. And he's about to get lapped right now. It looks like his demon is going to stay his demon. Oh, is that it? No, Ooh. Lightning once again being deceiving. Mm -hmm. Good. Attempt. Mm -hmm. He did get the read on that air dodge. Yeah. But uh, this time Aerolink coming down with an aggressive option was able to beat his way back on. Yeah, Karna's just been uh, allowing Aerolink to, to get hit back on the stage. He's not worrying too much about going down and contesting that witch twist, allowing Aerolink to get on. And then right as we saw there, he read the roll on, got the grab, got that back throw, and then was able to run up and get the, the forward air that sealed the game. Karna playing a very patient, reactive play style, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Yeah, reactive is right. I think the most important thing is that Sheik sitting in shield at the edge can react to almost everything you want to do. Um, if you roll on, she has enough time to drop shield and run back and get the grab. Uh, if you try to do a neutral get up or jump from the ledge and hit her shield with a, a aggressive option, yeah. she can nair out of shield and even fade back to the roll position to cover so much more. Tom and City, uh, please, uh, I, I would think that a Bayonetta wants to get a little bit uh, a little earlier kills, more combos mm -hmm. that'll are end a lot quicker. But uh, give me the reasoning for Bayonetta going here. I, I feel that. like you hit the nail on okay. the head. The early kills off the top with that up air, um, as well as just giving him some space to work with. You know, it's a wide stage, so it gives him some room. Yeah, it's really all that he needs. Yeah, and then those occasional platforms definitely helping out the combos. Uh, as we're seeing, he's already been getting a lot, but Karna has been getting so much of his own. Right now, he's been so doing such a good job of keeping him off the stage. Aerolink's able to answer back. Is this going to be the stock? And it will. First stock going to Aerolink in this game, too. Mm -hmm. He's definitely able to make the adjustments that he needs to. The big thing, he was able to hold stage. He wasn't thrown off once right there, and that's why he wasn't able to, or he wasn't taking that big damage. Ooh. Regrabbing the ledge, but. Karna wasn't able to punish in time. He does get Aerolink back off stage, reading an air dodge there, but Aerolink smartly going for the jump. Oh my gosh, I feel like, did he land on the platform a bit? He was caught between a rock and a hard place because he, he got hit before he uh, landed on the platform. Had he jumped, it would have been sniped out by that bouncing fish. Had he waited to tech on the platform, he would have been teching on the platform and it would have dragged him off to his doom. There was not much at all that Aerolink could do in that kind of a situation. Wow. The counter pick going against the counter picker in this case. Ooh, but he's getting the damage. Ooh, so is Karna. Karna is so good at just 
taking control of center stage, pushing you to the edge and saying, you're not allowed to get off. Yeah, he's so good at controlling the stage. He's, he makes his opponents approach him, and when he feels like approaching, he does it. It leaps and bounds running up there, getting the tipper of that up smash. She didn't even jump that time. Bayonetta is just like tall enough that you can do a standing up smash and, and tip her. Did, 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 did she tip on her nose? What happened there? Must be the hair. <laughs> Must be the hair. Just too much of it. Gave her a haircut. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Carno, two really strong games in that set. I mean, again, it was still like a hard callout because he knew when Aerolink was going to drop shield. Game two, a lot closer. Yeah. But still pretty convincing for Carno. You can tell that Aerolink has been trying to put in some work there. Um, the neutral interactions in game two were a lot better for him. He wasn't being pushed to the edge nearly as much, but once Karna got that confidence, it was over. Yeah, I 100% I agree. The confidence and momentum were definitely two really big factors in that game. He had momentum shift a lot in Aerolink's favor, but I feel like Karna did such a good job of grabbing hold of that momentum, taking it for his own, and then taking it so much farther than Aerolink was able to, and that's how he was able to take that set. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, this has been nothing but good games tonight. I love this. Like, it's it's always fun commentating Smash when there's just so many amazing games. It's crazy. Rad. All right.